welcome to Geek Slash Nerds. Um, I'm Mark, um, and this is going to be a series on 3D printing. Um, I've recently acquired a 3D printer for Christmas, as you can see in this box. So this is going to be the first episode in my adventures of 3D printing, which I am going to unbox this printer. Um, over the coming episodes, I'm going to go through my adventures on 3D printing, including uh, setting it up, my first print, designs, different resources, how I modify this, if I'm going to modify it. Um, there will also be a, an episode which will be sort of a prequel, which will uh, outline the reason why I picked this printer. Um, so, without further ado, um, let's get on with the printing, uh, printing unboxing. Um, first up, I want to apologise for the poor quality of the sound and this camera, it's the only camera I've got available, um, it's a, a very cheap camera, who knows, hopefully in the next couple of months I might be able to upgrade. So let's get off, I've got my implements here, now I've been sitting on this for ooh, nearly a week now, uh, because I've been away for Christmas, so on, so I cannot wait any longer. Don't cringe too much as they use the knife. I always cringe when people use knives. Should have dug it out of Stanley, but I couldn't stop it. Alright, let's see what we've got in here. So, on top, it appears that we have, let's just get myself in shot a bit. Uh, two boxes. Very well packed. Lots of cardboard. Alright, so there's nothing in this. It's just uh, an empty box. And there's another one here. Alright. And here we appear to have. Let's move this forward. You can see it's all cardboarded up. See that just in shot. First impressions is it seems a little bit smaller than. Oh, right, so this is enough. So there's lots of them um, cardboard boxes that don't seem to do anything. Cardboard that it might be useful. Lift it out. Alright, so here it is. Let's turn it around so you can see it. There we go. You can see it's um, all laser cutted uh, wood from the looks of it. And I assume the instructions are somewhere in here. There's no unboxing instructions on this, like I've seen on some uh, 3D printers watching YouTube. So let's put this in the table, rearrange the camera, and uh, unpack it a little bit further. So we've now got it set up on the table. Um, so I'm just going to take a this off. Now I can see the print bed in there and um, right, so the box here. And there we go, we've got the brand on it which is a CTC printer. So I'm assuming in here we have the print head and the extruder. Uh, sorry, the extruder. So I'm just going to it won't drive. Open that up. Just being very careful because I don't want to force anything. Now assume again, lots of assumption because unlike some printers that I've seen on YouTube, there seems to be no instructions so far. Right, so this box is actually empty. So so we've 
got some red PLA. So that's good. I actually thought I was getting two with this, so um, there's nothing in this box. That I can see. No, there's nothing in that box. So I will have to look at uh, what I was expecting with this. I'll reconfirm it, but we do have a pop PLA there. So Careful. We have the, uh, the heads there. Let's see what else we've got in here. Not sure what that is. I'm assuming that looks to me like uh, the spool holder. It's another spool holder. Just so you know, this is supposed to be a, a dual uh, head. So there should be two uh, printing heads on it, so two, two extruders. So hopefully that's still the case. Again, no instru instructions. So I'm a little bit concerned there. We have a memory card, which should have some uh, 3D printing stuff on there. Hopefully, we'll have to check it out and see if we've actually got an instruction manual on there. So, we'll, look, we'll have a look at that. Normal power cable, UK, plug everything there. So, let's put that over there. So, we've got nuts and bolts, three different Allen keys, or hex keys, whichever way you want to call it. Um, so, I assume that's for attaching that to that. Features for the head, the uh, extruders. So I've got two, which is a good sign. And finally, a cable, which is a normal print cable from the looks of it. So, yeah, nice colour. We'll just have to see if it's long enough. So. So, so far, I'm not going to take that out just yet, because I want to find the instructions. Um, I have to print everything, everything looks intact. See the little driver motors. Um, what I'll do is I'll take the camera off the tripod um, and do a little bit of a close up on everything. Uh, and then we'll move on to uh, see what if we can find instructions on this or if we've got to go online and find out what I'm actually going to do. Um, just a heads up, this is a, a MakerBot inspired printer, so I think it's MakerBot 1 or 2, uh, I'm not sure, but it's open source, so it's not actually a MakerBot, it's very similar to a MakerBot. And it's by a company called CTC, bought on eBay. Um, we shall see if it's any good. Uh, print bed looks smaller than I was expecting. I don't know why, but we'll see. It's um, yeah, I'm really looking forward to getting this on. So let's get some close-ups, and then we can start doing some research on the manuals. All right, so here we are with some of the close-ups. I'm just going to zoom out, zoom in, zoom out. Yeah, as I said, the camera's not the greatest in the world and my hand is not the steadiest. So we'll just uh, think, Unless we're going to just gently push that down. And you can see the, the worm drive just going around there. So I'm not sure that's the wisest thing, but I've done it anyway. Oh, let's get in focus. There we go. So we have buttons. They're a bit loose. And you can see I can wobble them like that. So I've got an LCD screen here. These look like um, printed feet. Oops, sorry. There we go. These look like 
3D printed feet. You can see the little stepper motors there, there's one there. There's one over the back there, if you can see that. I'm just get it in focus. There we go, there's one there with the belt. And there is probably one underneath um, to drive that. Um, we've got the print heads there with all the electronics to govern it. So, yeah, just to show you what came out a bit closer up, there's the nuts and bolts you know, with the Allen keys. There we go. I'm assuming these are the holders. Just have a look at those. There's two of those because it's dual head, power supply. PLA, as I said I was expecting PLA and um, ABS, but um, we'll just have to, I'm sure that's, at least it's red. Feed pipes, bag, and the memory card. So what I'm going to do is I am going to stop this and open this up and shove it in the laptop and see what we got in there. Okay, so we have unboxed this. Um, I put the card into the computer. I know you're not going to be able to see this, but you can see. Maybe I can get in towards that. I'm filming a, a computer off a camera is not the best thing in the world. But um, for speed, I'll do it this way. So you can see we have the manual and all that. If I had a criticism, it would be that there was no piece of paper on top of it just to say what needed to be done. I don't mind the man manual being on the, uh, the card. So we're just going to open that up. But um, I, I am a little bit kind of annoyed that it wasn't easy accessible so and it's in a word document as well so which is uh, yes I mean PDF would have probably been better not everybody has office programs I'm using Libra um, which fortunately does open Microsoft Office so we just uh, zoom out and then you can see so what I'm going to do is leave that for the minute. Um, I'm going to read this manual. And um, in the next episode, uh, I will go through the setting up of it and how to go about this and so on and so forth. Um, I don't usually read manuals, I'll be honest. But um, I don't want to uh, damage this. I'm not too... So that is the end of this episode. Um, I'm going to read the manual uh, as we've just seen and see what uh, I need to do next. Um, so the next video I'll do is on how to set it up. Ooh, bit of a jointy angle. Um, so join me then. Uh, if you like the video please subscribe, please like. Um, me and Dan would like to um, Put more content up so the more viewers and stuff we get for all of our videos the better so i'll catch you later peeps <laughs>